Hello, Ms. Barron here. I'm going to continue finish going over those stations. Um, so as I was saying earlier, um, when you are entering into your calculator here, uh, just make sure you're using that E function properly. Okay. Um, I'm going to continue here um, with station eight. So it says, what is the pH, that's what we're solving for, of an NaOH solution that has an OH minus concentration of 1.5 times 10 to the negative fourth molar? So this is going to be a multi-step one. So they gave us OH, so there's a couple of things that we can find. So first is we could plug in OH here to solve for pOH, and then we could use P. OH to solve for pH. You could also use this equation to solve for H plus, and then you can plug in H plus to solve for pH as well. Um, I'm going to take the first route that I suggested. Both would be correct. So I'm going to do the, I'm going to find the pOH which is equal to the negative log of the OH minus concentration, which they told me is 1.5 times 10 to the negative fourth. So I'm going to do negative, not minus, log 1.5. We're going to use that E, so hit the second blue button, that comma, and then negative 4, and then close parentheses. So we're going to get 3.82. So that is our pOH, and we know that pH plus pOH, which we got to be 3.82, equals 14. So now I just have to subtract from either side to find my pH, so 14 minus. Um, the ANS button, this is just plugging in your previous answer. It just might save some time so you don't have to type things in again. Um, you hit the second blue button, and then the blue ANS at that um, negative symbol, and it just plugs in your previous answer, so you just don't have to type it in again. So our pH is 10.18, okay, and that's going to be our final answer. So that was an example of a multi-step problem. Now we're on to station nine. So this one's easy. It says, what is the OH minus concentration? And they actually give us the pOH. So if I have the pOH, I can easily plug that in to solve for the OH minus concentration. So we're going to do the OH minus concentration equals 10 to the negative pOH, which they told us is 2.1. So 10, we're going to use that caret symbol to the negative 2.1 power, and we're going to get 0 0.00, and I'm going to round 8 as our answer. Okay. So sometimes they're easy where, you know, you have um, something, you just got to plug it in. Sometimes it's going to be a multi-step problem. Um, this last one is actually about molarity. Remember, molarity is moles over liters. So it says, what is the H plus concentration? And this is the same thing as big M, which is molarity, which is concentration, of a 5-liter solution that contains 200 grams of HBr. Well, it's HBr, which is hydrobromic acid. That's an acid, okay? So we don't have to, you know, use any of those... Um, special equations. So we have liters, which we know is going to go on the bottom, but on top we're going to need moles. And they gave me 200 grams. So in order to get grams into moles, we're going to have to set up a picket fence, and we're also going to have to find the molar mass of HBr. So I have my periodic table, so H is 1.008 plus BR is 79.904, which is 80.921. So remember, that's 80.921 grams per mole. So that goes in the bottom. One mole goes in the top. Grams would cancel. 
we're going to do 200 divided by, I'm going to use the ANS, so I don't have to type that in again, and I'm going to get 2.47. So that's how many moles I have, and I'm going to go ahead and plug that in, 2.47. Um, I'm just going to do that divided by 5, and we're going to get 0 0.49. And that would be big M, which is our H plus concentration, and that would be my final answer.